in this travel guide, I'm gonna be sharing with you the absolute best of Barbados. The best nature, some of the most incredible views, the best beaches on the island, the most authentic cuisine, and all the best things to do. So you can follow this itinerary directly, or you can use it to help build your own. But either way, close down all your other travel guides and all the other blogs online, because this is the ultimate guide to Barbados. Let's get into it. So we have made our first really early morning start and we've come just outside of the Radisson Aquatica Resort Hotel because if you come between 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. you'll catch the horses from the race course that have just finished their morning workout coming for a dip and a wash in the water and it is a truly incredible sight to see. It is well worth waking up at this time before the sunrise to see this. Who would have thought that horses could swim so well? And it is 6.29 and all the horses are gone. So if you don't come between 6 and 6.30, you will miss it. Wow, and what a wonderful time it was over at the beach watching the horses. But we've come back to the hotel to enjoy a lovely breakfast. I've got the yogurt with granola and I've also ordered a really authentic Bayesian breakfast with some fish. We've got some coffee and it is lovely to sit out here just by the pool super early in the morning. And you can also see the fishermen doing their fishing in the water and it is absolutely lovely. So I am sweating, so there is no better way to cool off first thing in the morning than to come for a dip. And because it's so early, there's nobody else in the water, so. Oh, that is lovely. What a way to start the morning here at the Soco Hotel. It's absolutely beautiful. All-inclusive bar, all-inclusive breakfast. Cannot wait to start today. So really cool, fun little fact here in Barbados. There are actually no deadly insects, poisonous spiders or snakes. In fact, at one point there was a lot of poisonous snakes on the island, but what the government decided to do was bring in loads of mongoose and they all cleared up the snakes on the island. So there is nothing to worry about. You can walk through the fields. You may bump into the odd grass snake, but they are not poisonous. It is literally just like a paradise here. One thing I have noticed here in Barbados is the pussycats are so friendly. Listen to him. Oh. Oh, hello, little man. And welcome to Gun Hill Signal Station. This is one of the original six signal stations erected here in the 19th century following the slave rebellion. And it was originally built for internal and external defense to warn off invading ships and sugarcane fires. But one of the highlights of this place is the incredible views that you get over the three parishes of St. Michael, St. George and Christ Church. Look at that, it is absolutely sublime from up here. And it just gives you another incredible perspective of this beautiful, beautiful island. Now this place is only about a 20 minute drive from the Soco Hotel, so it is convenient to get over there. And I think that's another really good reason to hire a car here on the island. How do you feel about hiring a car? Yeah, I had a few misgivings initially, but uh, driving's pretty good. We're on the same side of the road as we do in England. Driving on the left. The roads are pretty okay. Yeah, the hiring of a car is uh, essential. I mean, there is a bus system out here on the island, but they are pretty crazy, the speed that they've been traveling at. It looks like it is an experience going on one, but I think to provide yourself the full flexibility to get around the island and do things in your own time, there is no better way than hiring a car. I've got to say, the locals here are so, so friendly. Kevin is a subscriber and he just hooks us up with some free drinks, which is so kind of him. You can't see the view to the right from the top of Gunhill Station yeah. because 
they're blocked by the mahogany trees and they cannot chop them, those parts down. Because ah, they're protected? Because they're a protected species on the ah. island, that's right. Back we go into the uh, Wigan wagon. And if you follow the road around two minutes from Gunhill Station, you will find the Instagram spot. It's a white lion. Of course, we're going to sit on it and get some B-roll. This is the position. This is the pose. This is your view on the lion. And we have come 15 minutes to Harrison's Cave, which is an essential place to come and visit here in Barbados. We're going to go inside. Signing our waivers. Okay, so before we put our hard hats on, we have to put our sort of shower cap looking things on our heads. So we are currently in Harrison's Cave, which is a natural reserve taking us 160 feet underground. There's actually a tram journey, which is super cool, taking us around with a guided tour. This is pretty cool. So it actually turns out you can actually drink this water because it has been filtered by all the limestone. And this over here is all calcium. Yes. That is crazy. Look at that. Looks like something out of Frozen. Let me show you something else. Now, this That's right here apparently behaves the same as quicksand. If you stand in it, you will sink. So we have come 160 feet below ground to Harrison's Cave. Now, this tour will take you on a tram tour underground to these caves, and it is pretty spectacular. Now, when COVID isn't a thing, you can also go on your hands and knees and crawl through these caves which seems a little bit claustrophobic, but this is pretty crazy. We're currently in the deepest part of these caves and this is called Cascade Falls. Now, if you're wondering if you need a jacket down there because you are in the caves, you don't. It is 27 degrees Celsius down there and about 96% humidity. And this place was only open to the public in 1981, which is pretty crazy. It's pretty new. It's a lot of fun. Apparently, according to old Barbadian legend, the grapefruit actually was first developed here. Recorded in Welshman Hall Gully in the 18th century. I don't know if it's just a legend or it is true, but if it is, it's pretty legendary because I love a grapefruit. But do not take them if you are taking medication because it has many interactions and it can make you very ill. Fun fact. And there is also a cafe here. But we are going to give this place a miss because we are going somewhere far better and somewhere that you absolutely must go, fish pot. My suggestion for lunch would have been the fish pot, but we have just been informed that the place is closed for the month because of COVID. The food here though is meant to be highly recommended and also the view from the restaurant. It has its very own walkway into the ocean, and wow, the beach here is absolutely stunning. Look at this. So it would be a great place to come, grab a bite to eat, and then just go for a dip in the lush white sand and turquoise blue ocean. Now, since the fish pot restaurant was closed, we've decided to make our way over to a restaurant called the Lone Star, but on the route to the Lone Star, it will take you through Spakestown, which is actually almost like going back in time to middle America. But when you're in Spakestown, you have to make a stop off to the mural, which is known as the Bridge of Tides. It is a beautiful painting on the side of the wall. But it's really cool to see because actually this mural depicts everything here in Barbados and what it's famous for, from the monkeys, the mills, the Harrison's Cave that we've just been in and it is absolutely wonderful site to come and visit. But there is also an absolutely stunning beach for you to come and relax on after having a look at the mural and wandering around Spakestown, otherwise known as Little Bristol. And this is known as Lone Star Restaurant, which is absolutely lovely, but there is a dress code after 5 p.m. Lovely beachfront restaurant. And the weather can change any minute here in Barbados. It was beautiful and sunny. All of a sudden it's turned into a crazy rainstorm. 
mental. And I got the jumbo shrimp to start with, with a lovely view. And the weather has changed, which is stunning. Here we go with the taste test of the jumbo shrimp here at the Lone Star. It's got a lovely uh, spicy sauce with it. Let's have a taste. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So beautiful. So meaty. The sauce is delicious. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Succulent. Succulent. Excellent sauce. And it's not it's not too hot. It's really tasty. Yeah, very nice. Cream, and that is a lot coming from him. He's very critical. So for the main course, I've ordered the market catch, which is the snapper. This is highly recommended. So I'm very excited to see how this tastes, but also really highly recommended is the pulled pork sandwich, which my dad's got. That looks very appetizing. A lot of food there for lunch. And we've also got a shrimp salad, which looks pretty special. It's so, it's delicious. It really is. Shrimp Caesar salad. It's like a spiced shrimp. It's spicy it's like it's got a spicy coating, yeah. I have got to say, this snapper is so, so good. It is cooked so well. It is seasoned so well. And the truffle fries, big yes. And the view is absolutely sublime. So if you are looking for some fine dining and some really, really high quality food with an incredible view and probably one of the better beaches here on the island in Barbados, then you have to come to Lone Star, spend an afternoon here, enjoy some food, chill out on the beach. You will not be disappointed. And at the Lone Star restaurant, it actually doubles as a hotel. There are eight rooms here and they are beside one of the most beautiful beaches here in Barbados. It seems like there is some area for water sports there and there is also an area in the water where you can jump in with a trampoline and a slide. If you come to Barbados and you do not get a photo on one of these trees, then you didn't come to Barbados. I'm not going on. There's an art to it. Wow, the water here literally feels like bath water. It is so warm. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Crystal clear. So stunning. I'd say it's magical. Magical? Of all... So what I was saying was the other advantage of coming to this Lone yeah. Star is that you can use their sun beds, their umbrellas, yeah. uh, their um, toilet facilities, and, and also their shower. Their shower. You cleaned up before you leave. And after a lovely day here at Lone Star Restaurant and at the beach, we are going to head back to the Soco Hotel to enjoy the beach there and enjoy a lovely sunset. So I'll see you over there. And so we came back to the Soco Hotel, which is where we are staying. Now, we did come here with the intention of catching some sun and a beautiful sunset. But unfortunately, considering the time of year here in Barbados in September, it is prone to showers and rain and overcast. And unfortunately, we have been firsthand accustomed to that today. It is showering a little bit, it is raining, and we were deliberating going back. But unfortunately, sundown is in one hour. So this is it for this evening. We are just gonna have to make the most of it. But luckily, here at the Soco Hotel, it is an all-inclusive. So we can take advantage of that bar right there and drink cocktails and beer on tap. Cheers. And we have just taken a step outside the hotel and onto the boardwalk. And look at that. We have a beautiful rainbow. And it is lovely because the sun has started to come out just a bit, ready for sunset. And it is only trickling with rain, so it isn't all bad. As you're walking along the boardwalk, you will find lots of lovely little cafes, restaurants, and bars that are pretty nice and themed. But also, as you walk all the way to the end, it will take you to Accra Beach. And Accra Beach is one of the lovely beaches that you can enjoy here on the island. And as you're walking across, you can actually see, look at all this. This is really chill. You know, these beaches are all very nice. All the waves are 
not too heavy and you can definitely hang out here and have a lovely day and there's a crab oh look at him go and it turns out that we have just made it back in time back to the hotel for the sunset as you can see it is not the best sunset we've had but it is a sunset after all and it is lovely to see and i have decided to order a cocktail and just chill on the sun lounges here at the beach of the Soko hotel to watch the sun go down because the colors are absolutely beautiful and it is just a super nice way to end a really busy day here on the beach with some all-inclusive drinks from the Soko hotel and just admire the sunset 